looks a lot better. Look at those. This is, a, a, I don't think I've even mentioned it yet. I may have. But this is a warm board. It's our subfloor. As you can see, it's a special, special subfloor. And it's got, like, uh, this is an aluminum. It's about, you, you can see, it's probably like a 32nd inch thick aluminum uh, coating. Maybe a little thicker. It's got slots for half inch hydronic tubing to run. And it's just a force fit. The aluminum spreads the heat really well. In the systems that I've seen installed, um, this tubing would be stapled basically up to the bottom of standard subfloor. And then they would use, they use like these aluminum, they look like just aluminum flashing. And they have like a, you know, a spot for the tube in the middle and they go out, you know, depending on how much money you want to spend, they go out a certain distance. And you staple those plates up around the pipe and it spreads the heat, you know, through your subfloor much better and you don't get like uneven heating. Aluminum works really well as a conductor and so it pulls that heat uh, super efficiently. And this works so well that you only have to run water at around 80, 85 degrees. Uh, you really can't w run it that much warmer uh, for the wood floor. You don't want to overheat that. Being able to run water at that low a temperature means that you can have a super efficient hydronic heating system. Because it's a lot easier to get that water to only 85 than it is to say 120 or 130 as like a normal system would have to do to get that heat to really heat up the floor. But this system works so well that we can run that real low level heat and really the, the energy savings is, is huge and the, the extra cost to buy this stuff pays off within, it's like five to 10 years. It's something ridiculous for what, for our climate.